The all-terrain vehicle automotive company Polaris has opened in Dimapur. A newly opened Polaris showroom was inaugurated by former Nagaland Medical Minister Ihej Jimomi along with his wife Tojele Jimomi at Tilakha village in Dimapur on Tuesday. The showroom's co-owner Troy Motherwell told Hornbill TV that among ATV companies, Polaris is one of the leading companies. The AVT that the company is introducing range from sports adventure used to agriculture utilities. I want to read out Holy Bible, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1 to 3. Timina Kobo Pejeni, Ikemu de Pau, Kokchilea, I will not Jenny. I will not Jenny. I will not Jenny. I will and Holy Spirit, I open this soul, this soul today. more about the ATVs, uh, let's talk to the co-owner, Mr. Troy. So tell us something about the ATV and how is it different from uh, the other ATVs that is there in the market? Ah, well, I mean, Polaris, you're looking at the, the number one brand in the world, first and foremost. You know, for ATVs, um, there's a few different companies, but the premier one, the most famous one is Polaris, you know. It's a Fortune 500 company. Uh, and they have been in India now for 11 years. So full service, backup service, everything is there. Uh, you know, our machines are premium. I suppose if you wanted to compare it to, you know, an easy, an easy way to compare it is, when you have cars, we have, you know, the smaller ones, but then we go up to Mercedes and Ferrari. So this, this is the pinnacle of ATVs, you know. The premium machine, premium quality parts, premium service, you know, proven, tested, 50, 60 years old, you know. Mostly these ATVs are taken for just adventure. Ah. So how different is the sportsman uh, ATV different from others? Ah. Well, this vehicle has actually been designed as a, what they, they're promoting as a tractor. You know, so it can be used. We have trailers, we have uh, spray machines, we have more agricultural equipment. So especially for, you know, hilly areas and terrain like this, where it's difficult to move larger vehicles, tractors, big normal tractors, we can use this machine. It's four wheel drive, so we can access remote areas. Um, so and it's, it's 570 cc, it has the horsepower, it has a say, four wheel drive, it can tow trailer capacity. So as a farming vehicle, it's, it's multifunctional. Yeah, you know? And we can even use uh, as I say, for farming, but uh, forestry, all these different departments. So it's many, fa many faces for this vehicle. So, sir, uh, I just want to get things clear. Like it is said that running this ATV on the road, you need to get license for it, like a vehicle. So, can you please explain about that? Well, just the same as as your if you are purchasing a vehicle, it has to be registered with the the vehicle department. You yeah, know, just the same as a normal car, and it's perfectly road legal, as you can see. Indicators are there. You know, headlights, uh, number plate area at the back. So. Uh, it's, it's a great vehicle if you want to use it on your farm. It's a, it's a great vehicle. In fact, another area of opportunity for this vehicle is to be used, especially by our police force. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a great place because it's not too big. 
You know, if you look at Dimapur, there's, there's lots of congestion. Even Kohima, we have small, narrow roads, you know. So it's ideal for the police, rapid response. Uh, I mean, Nagaland, we are prone to landslides. It's a four-wheel drive vehicle. It can drive over the top. You know. Basically, our vehicle is, it can be used in many, many different areas. And this is just one type of vehicle that we have. We have, you know, we have uh, sports vehicles like this. We have rangers like these ones here that can be, uh, that can be used by for four or six persons. These ones are for two people. But again, we have a full range of vehicles, you know. And uh, sir, what about the fuel consumption? And is it petrol or is it diesel? These are these are petrol machines. Um, if it's being used conservatively on the road, like a normal household vehicle, like uh, say a Maruti 800, the consumption will be similar. If it's off-road, if we're in the jungle, if we're in mud, if it's four-wheel drive, you know, then obviously our consumption would be higher. You know, but that's the nature of this beast. It's it's designed for these things. So, fuel. On road, great. Fuel uh, consumption in the jungle, obviously higher. Well, price range for, for the different types of vehicles that we have, because this, the, this is just one particular model, you'll find that the, we have youth's ATVs, and they're approximately five, five and a half lakhs upwards. Uh, these particular ones, they're costing about 11 and a half, 11.9, depending on the dollar rate, you know. Um, and then we can go up to high performance machines, which are for specialist off roaders, you know, for racing virtually. Um, and they are costing about 80, 90 lakhs, depending on the variation. So your price range is from about five and a half up to about 90. But here in Nagaland, obviously, we're not looking for, you know, people who are racing. That, you know, that's mainly in other parts of India where there's lots of events and, you know, these guys are buying these machines for their hobbies, you know. So, and besides this model, are you planning to bring any other models as well? Yes, we will bring the, the other types of machines. Uh, what, what, uh, there's a model that's called a Ranger, um, and that's being used quite a bit by uh, different police forces here in India. Um, it's being used by the military, so it can be used for border security. In fact, even now we have a, an inquiry from Mizoram for border security for our Rangers, you know. Um, because it can carry more passengers, it's actually more like a traditional SUV, like a truck, and it can carry like between four and six passengers and a lot of cargo, you know, so they can carry equipment, etc., you know.